Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number two in my Builder website from start to finish series. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about project management. So we're not getting into the code just yet, but uh, this is a really, really useful skill to have. And uh, yeah, um, I wanna show you guys how to use this tool, which is called Asana. So before we get started, fun fact about Asana, if you go ahead and Google it, um, you can see that the CEO, the current CEO is Dustin Moskovitz. And if you know a little bit about Facebook, or if you've watched the so social network, you'll know that Dustin Moskovitz is basically the other programmer that started Facebook with Mark Zuckerberg. So uh, yeah, uh, interesting story there. Uh, but now that I've got that useless fact out of the way, let's take a look at how to use Asana. Now, when you first uh, go to Asana's website, you're probably gonna have to sign up. Um, it's probably gonna give you a tutorial on how to use Asana. It's gonna show you guys how to set up a team and how to set up a project. So I'm gonna assume that when you go through or when you go to Asana, you're gonna go through all of this stuff and I'm not gonna show you how to do it because uh, basically, Asana is going to show you guys how to do this. But what I am going to show you is how I'm setting up my project and how I'm going to manage this. Basically, once you've gotten through all of that um, and you look at Asana now, you should have a, a bar on the left hand side of the screen. And from here, you can create different teams. So uh, over here, I've got a tutorial dev team. This is the uh, team I'm going to be working in. Uh, for this tutorial series. Now, uh, I can see that oh, right now you guys can see that I'm just a team of one, it's only me. But if you guys had designers and other developers, you could go ahead and uh, invite all of those people by email address. And uh, yeah, uh, that way everybody n would know what was going on in your project. But I'm gonna assume that all of us is just a team of one right now. Uh, and it's still really useful to use Asana in this way because uh, it basically gives you a checkbox uh, or a checklist of things that you need to get done. Um, and you can also sk schedule everything. So you can say like, I'd like to get these number of things done by the end of the week. So you can uh, set deadlines for yourself and manage uh, or hopefully manage those deadlines and finish your website on time. Um, but uh, now what I'd like to do is go over to the little projects button here and I'm gonna hit plus. So that's gonna allow me to create a new project and let's call this build a website from start to finish, right? And uh, you'll see, um, <laughs> this is very important by the way, but you'll see you've got a layout over here that you can choose right now. So we can choose list layout or board layout. Uh, and in fact, uh, I'm gonna choose board layout, which is kind of new to Asana. But the funny thing is, uh, if you choose list, you will never ever be able to see the boards. But if you choose board layout, uh, you can actually see a list of tasks. So it's kind of funny how that works, but uh, basically make sure you choose board. Otherwise, you're probably not gonna get the opportunity to choose this again uh, until you set up a new project. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit create. And uh, yeah, now you can see we've got our project over here and this is an empty project. So uh, right now we don't have any tasks in here. We don't have any columns in here and that's what it's asking us to add right now. So I'm gonna hit the add columns button. And essentially what we're trying to do here is set up different phases for our project. So we'll have a planning phase and after stuff has been finished getting planned, uh, we will start designing that and then we'll start building that. So these are the columns that we need to set up here. So I'm gonna set up a column for planning. I'm gonna set up another column for uh, design. So once we're finished planning something, we'll move on to designing it. Once we're finished designing something, we'll move on to actually coding it. And once we have coded it, uh, we'll move on to finally testing it. And once it is tested, um, it will be complete. So uh, I believe once it's complete, all we need to do is tick the checkbox. We don't have to move it over to a completed column. Um, oopsie. Okay, so just go back to that project over there. And uh, what I'd like to do now is start setting up a bunch of tasks. So I'm gonna set one or two up and I'm gonna show you guys how they work. And after that, I'm just gonna pause the video and set up a bunch of others and I'll come back once they're done. So let's hit the plus button. And I'm going to uh, set up my first task over here, which is going to be uh, to research 
UI kit, which is uh, one of the technologies that we're going to be using for this tutorial series. Uh, and I'm going to basically, this is now a task, and I'm going to assign this task to somebody. So I can click on this little circle button and assign that to myself because I'm the only person in the team, or I can add somebody else if I'd like. Uh, and then I can set a deadline for that. So I can say like, I'd like to have that done by today or uh, tomorrow or next week, uh, whatever suits your timeline. Uh, if I click on that, I can also add in a bunch of uh, extra options over here. So I can um, include a description. I can write comments to other people in my team. Uh, right now I'm the only person in the team, so no point in writing a comment. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that Asana can do. So uh, that was our first task. Let's create a second task over here. So let's say research. Um, current design trends. That's also something we're going to need to get done. Uh, and hopefully we can get that done today as well. So I'm going to set the deadline for today and I'm going to assign that to myself. All right. Uh, and yeah, the rest of this stuff is going to be more of the same. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back once I've got a bunch of tasks set up. Okay, so I am back and yeah, I've bunched, I've gone ahead and set up a bunch of different tasks here. So I've set some up in the planning phase for today. Uh, I've got some design uh, tasks set up here. So I've, I've basically broken everything up into little bits and pieces um, to make it easier for us and also give us uh, some tasks that we can check off uh, occasionally. And then I've gone ahead and done the same thing for the coding. Uh, so we'll basically code our website in bits and pieces, uh, just making it obviously easier for us uh, to uh, get the website done. Right, and then uh, at the end, um, once I finish building something, I can move it over to the testing block and actually test uh, the stuff that I've built. But for now, let's just leave everything as it is. Another great thing is uh, once all of these are set up and they are assigned to people, um, that person, whoever logs in the next day, if you're the only person on this project, uh, you can log in the next day or whatever day, click on uh, my tasks and you can see all the tasks that you have to take care of uh, in a list. Um, so right now there are a bunch of extra tasks showing up here. That's just because I have another project set up on the side. But yeah, all your projects are set up here. You can go ahead and look at them in list order along with the description. And once you've completed it, go ahead and hit that checkbox to say you've done it. Uh, I'm just gonna hit undo because obviously I haven't finished building that. Um, and yeah, I think looking at the project in the project view with the board design uh, just gives you a little bit more structure than actually looking at it as a list. And uh, yeah, now that we have our instructions of what we need to do for the next couple of videos, uh, I'm going to end this tutorial off here and I'll join you guys in the next video uh, where we will actually start taking care of some of these uh, tasks. But before I end this video off, I just wanna send a huge shout out to my patrons. And uh, yeah, if you guys are wanting to download the code for this tutorial series, don't forget to become a patron. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. So don't forget to leave a like, comment, and share this video because that's really gonna help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time.